Conversation has commenced with North Korea over U.S. soldier United Nations Command says. This family photo shows the portrait of American soldier Travis King displayed at the home of his grandfather, Carl Kitt. Wednesday, July 19, 2023, in Kenosha, East. For South Korea CNN, a conversation has commenced with North Korea over U.S. Army Travis King, who crossed the border between North and South Korea last week in the demilitarized zone separating the two nations. The deputy commander of the United Nations Command said Monday, King believed to be the first U.S. soldier to cross into North Korea since 1982 had a history of assault was facing disciplinary disciplinary action over his conduct and was meant to go back to the U.S. the day before the incident. General Andrew Harrison said the case of King is still under investigation and he could not provide further detail on the private who the U.S. military said willfully and without authorization crossed the U into North Korea while taking a civilian tour of the Joint Security Area, a small collection of buildings inside the demilitarized zone called the DMZ that has separated North and South Korea since the end of the Korean War in 1953. There is a mechanism that exists under the Armistice Agreement, whereby lines of communication are open between the UNC and the Korean People's Army and that takes place in the JSA. That process was started, has started, Harrison told the journalist at the Seoul Foreign Correspondent Club. He acknowledged that the answers that he could provide was disappointing, but I'm constrained by what I can say. I'm, I may not get the answers for what you're dis desperate for, Harrison told the journalist. The UN command was making King's welfare its primary concern. As the process goes forward, he said, Obviously, there is so much welfare at stake, and clearly we are in very difficult and complex situation which I don't want to risk by speculation or going into too much detail about the communications that are existing, he said. The two US officials told the CNN that North Korea acknowledged the reach out by the United Nations Command regarding the King case. The State Department has not received the response to its messages on King. State Department spokesperson Matt Miller said Monday. He also said it was his understanding that the U.S. military had not received the response. On the U.S. side, U.N. side, Miller said, it was his understanding that there have been no new communications since the last week, communications that happened in the early days, but that the North Korean government had acknowledged the receipt of the message. My understanding is that the North Koreans acknowledge they received the message. I'm not aware of any new communications other than those that happened in the very early hours, so early days after he went across the border, Miller said at the State Department briefing Monday. The UNC is the multinational military force that includes the United States, which fought on the side of the South Korea during the 1950-53 Korean War. It controls the South Korean side of the JSA, the one place where the North and South can meet for talks. King has not been publicly seen or heard from since he crossed into the North Korea last Tuesday. North Korea has also not said anything about the status or condition of the missing soldier. His re reasoning for crossing the border into one of the world's most authorized authoritarian places and the country which the U.S. does not have diplomatic relations with has so far remained a mystery. A U.S. Army official told CNN the private was said to be administratively 
separated from the service when he returned to the Fort Bliss in Texas. But before he could board <coughs> American Airlines, a flight, Airlines flight from Incheon International Airport outside of the Seoul last Monday, King 40. He passed through all the security points up to the boarding gate, but he told the airline staff that his pa passport was missing. An official at the Incheon Airport told CNN the airline staff then escorted him back outside to the de departure side, the official said. King has reservations for the Joint Security Area tour for the next day and somehow made it to the exert excursion, joining other tour list as they went into the DMZ and the Joint Security Area, where he then ran into North Korea. CNN's Natasha Bertland and Oren Lieberman contributed reporting.